As part of their collaboration at Mogao, the Donghuang Academy, and the Getty Conservation Institute, began a project on wall painting conservation. The goal was to develop a methodology to stabilize paintings and to preserve them for the future. Cave 85 was selected as a case study for analysis, research, testing, treatment, and presentation. At the project's start, sections of the wall painting had collapsed and other areas were endangered. Previous wall painting conservation efforts concentrated on repair. This new effort studied the original materials of the paintings and identified causes of deterioration. With this understanding, appropriate steps could be taken to stabilize and protect the paintings. The methods developed follow international conservation standards. These include principles of minimal intervention, compatibility, and retreatability. A main goal of the project was to improve techniques and materials for conserving wall paintings on earthen plasters. Major conservation work focused on re-adhering detached plaster to the rock wall using an adhesive grout. Over 80 grout mixtures were tested and trialed. In addition, areas of flaking paint were treated. Beyond stabilization treatments, efforts are needed to slow decay. In Cave 85, the principal cause of deterioration is soluble salts. The salts are still present, but their effects can be reduced by controlling humidity in the cave. Environmental control is the most effective way to slow salt-related deterioration. This means that during periods of high humidity, some caves are closed to visitors. Instruments measure humidity, temperature, and carbon dioxide to ensure stable conditions. After completion of conservation in Cave 85, a viewing platform and low-level lighting were installed. Interpretive panels explained the conservation work undertaken and the ongoing risks to the paintings. The Donghuan Academy is now applying the Cave 85 methodology elsewhere at Mogao.